Will Steph surpass KD with the title? Can I stop laughing? With a title this year? Absolutely. Straight face. Absolutely not. Absolutely not, right? You said, what'd you say? No. He he already ahead of KD. This How are we doing this? Oh, you get. Oh, hell no. Let's what? be real. Let's be, and I, I can start let's be, let's be and real. end the conversation about Steph and Kevin Durant's greatness and who is greater with this opening two sentences. I can start it and I can end it here. Let's be real. If you say real talk, I probably don't trust you. <sighs> let's go. The greatest accomplishment Kevin Durant has ever accomplished on the basketball court, he needed Steph Curry to accomplish his finals MVPs. Oh. The greatest thing Kevin Durant has ever accomplished on the basketball court, he needed Steph Curry's help. Okay, okay. Two finals MVPs. Okay, okay, okay. But Steph Curry's top three greatest accomplishments on the basketball oh, court. Oh, now we three, huh? He's accomplished without Kevin Durant. Ooh, excuse Most me. three-pointers made, accomplished without Kevin Durant. Unanimous MVP. Accomplished without Kevin Durant. And back-to-back -back NBA MVPs accomplished without Kevin Durant. So if we have to talk about Steph Curry in order to talk about Kevin Durant's greatness, then we cannot sit here and act as though Kevin Durant is greater than Steph Curry. I always love when people say it like this, Sel. We can tell the story of Steph Curry without talking about Kevin Durant. I do like when they do that. But we cannot tell, tell the story of Kevin Durant without talking about Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. And that's what it comes down to. If you wanted to tell the story of Kevin Durant, drafted to the Seattle Supersonics uh, at the Combine, he couldn't bench 185 pounds. People questioned his strength, but he overcame that, became a dominant scorer. He goes to Oklahoma City. They could not win with Russell Westbrook and James Harden. He loses to LeBron James, 4-1, uh, uh, gets knocked out. Next thing you know, Kevin Durant needed to win a championship, so he joined the Golden State Warriors team that was already 73-win team, led by Steph Curry. But you can tell the story of Steph Curry with ease, without talking about Kevin Durant. You can talk about how Steph Curry created a Golden State team that was a perennial kind of eight seed, Baron Davis, a little bit sexy, but couldn't get over the hump. Mark Jackson was there, Mark Jackson the part, Steve Kerr comes in, Steph Curry wins an MVP, unanimous MVP, Steph Curry goes back-to-back -back MVPs, Steph Curry wins a title, Steph Curry has a 73-win season. You can tell the story of Steph Curry becoming the greatest shooter of all time without ever mentioning <laughs> Kevin Durant. Oh, that's a war. So, Steph Curry doesn't need to win a title to surpass Kevin Durant in the all-time rankings. Steph Curry is already ahead of Kevin Durant in the all-time rankings. Oh, that was beautiful. I mean, look, talking about just grasping for straws and now making up awards, best shooter of all time. Where did they get that at? Is that Kia? Kia give that one the best shooter of all time award? No. Ah, let's start off with the real premise. We're going to have a real argument here. And I'm going to slice you, but I like the suit, so... Unbutton. Here we go. We're already working from the knowledge base, yes, the premise of Kevin Durant's ahead of Steph Curry. Want to know why? Nick Wright just said if he wins an award, oh, sorry, championship this year, not just an award, he will surpass Kevin Durant. So let's just start off where Nick Wright is starting off, at least. If he's I don't want to start there. You can start oh, there. Okay, that's fine. But that's why we're having this conversation in the first place. But that's okay. Um, the Athletic, when they ranked, they actually, ESPN, when they rank, they actually have Kevin Durant. Okay, you don't want to start there. Our chose rankings doesn't. But I'm going to tell you like this. If Steph Curry was going to be ranked higher than Kevin Durant, he would have already been ranked higher than Kevin Durant. Let me tell you what's interesting about this whole argument and conversation we're going to have. We don't have to use fantasy. We don't have to look at elements and look at factors and imagine how they will play, just like we did yesterday. Oh, well, Kobe versus Bird. Imagination. Different errors, different positions. Mm -hmm. We don't have to do that here. We got reality yes, sir, to do. check us on this one. And you know what the reality was? They played together. And when they played together, was there a conversation of who was better? No, because that was dead from hello. Kevin Durant was better than Steph Curry. Kevin Durant not only was better than Steph Curry offensively, but his defense started to get the proper recognition and acknowledgement to the point where he was, not once, twice in their two championships, the finals MVP. So my conversation really starts with, if you were going to be ahead of me, bro, you would already been ahead of me. Don't forget, we played together, reality. And don't forget this in reality. No more fantasy Kobe versus Bird talk, y'all. Here's another one that's real. Steph, you are already a champion. Before me, you were already a champion without me. I come to play with you. I have fewer championships than you, 
but I'm still ranked higher than you. So there's nothing you can do unless you soar to the heavens while I go straight to hell in terms of my basketball abilities. Other than that, there's nothing he can do. Steph can win a championship this year. We'll go back to reality. They played together. Who was better? Steph can win a championship the year after, as long as Kevin Durant is still number one, in my mind, best player on the planet, or number two, how in the hell can Steph Curry ever make up this lead that Kevin Durant has when Steph Curry's supposed to have the lead already? Here's a problem oh, okay. with the logic. <clears throat> Not a problem with you. You're you mean the list? Human you mean the list? Problem with the logic. Oh, the list. The logic, logic has constituted the list, but yes. the problem with your logic and everyone else's. Okay, 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 okay. What Kevin Durant has on Steph Curry is finals MVPs. That's it. No, That's it, where it starts, and that is where it starts. Oh, no, oh, Kevin no, Durant not. does not have NBA MVPs Tell on Kevin Steph Curry. Kevin Durant does not have NBA championships on Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant does not have anything on Steph Curry mm -hmm. except for finals MVPs. Respect. I respect all of that. But you know, I don't know who else has finals MVPs on mm -hmm. Steph Curry. Who? Andre Iguodala. Iggy. You know who else has finals MVPs on Steph Curry? Kawhi Leonard. Mm -hmm. But is Kawhi Leonard a better basketball player than Steph Curry? Absolutely not. Okay. Would we sit here and say that Andre Iguodala is a better basketball player than Steph Curry? No, no, we're not doing that. Of course we wouldn't. So while Kevin Durant does, in fact, have finals MVPs on Steph Curry, and I will give you all the respect for that, that's talking about a seven-game series. That's not talking about the duration of a career. Kevin Durant could not win Marcellus Wiley a championship without Steph Curry. He tried before, and he has since tried after, and he couldn't do it without Steph Curry. Steph Curry could win a NBA championship without Kevin Durant. That is what I can't get through my skull, and it might be thick, but that's what I can't get through my skull in regards to this argument. Do you all not realize the greatest of accomplishments Kevin Durant has accomplished, he needed Steph Curry to accomplish. He needed him? The absolutely He needed, needed him, or did they need him? Because no. they asked him. Here is why he They needed. begged him. Here is why Kevin Durant needed Steph Curry. Let's go. Because what Kevin Durant could not accomplish with Kyrie Irving and James Harden, he accomplished with Steph. What Kevin Durant could not accomplish with Russell Westbrook, he accomplished with Steph. What Kevin Durant could not accomplish with Russell Westbrook and James Harden, he accomplished with Steph. So it's not as though Kevin, it's not as though Kevin Durant has not played with NBA MVPs before, because he has Russell Westbrook, because he has James Harden. Mm. It's that Kevin Durant has not played with the likes of Steph Curry before. Yeah. Steph Curry could win without Kevin Durant. Mm. Kevin Durant cannot win without Steph Curry. Yeah. That's it. But that's not it, because that's why Phil Jackson walks around and just acts any old kind of way he wants to and really has a huge ego, which is well-deserved. You know why? Because he uses that against Jordan. He uses that against Kobe. Mm -hmm. And he says, who are they without me? Fair. And, and it's not fair, because then Shaquille O'Neal used that as fuel to say, let me go get one with Pat Riley to show I'm somebody without at least Phil mm -hmm. Jackson. But now we're going to say Shaquille O'Neal is better than Jordan? You can't make that logical argument. But you're using two different things. I, I'm using two different things to show you one thing that Steph Curry is already generally known as less than Kevin Durant based on these lists. Nick Wright used these lists to say, well, this is how he can close the gap or surpass him. You want to come from a different place where he's already ahead already of him. Ahead. No one else agrees with you, including Steph Curry, to the point where a 33-year-old Steph Curry goes out there, gets 50, while getting 50, says, what's the all-star game record in points. While doing that at 33, it's the old late sir's thirst to try and get all these other attributes and accolades up to catch Kevin Durant. But since you want to make lies about this, let's talk some truth. Once again, reality. The greatest shooter of all time you would think would at least average more points than the guy who you say that he's better than, right? If he's the, he's not only better than Kevin Durant, he's the greatest shooter of all time. How come he doesn't average more points? Doesn't take a minute. Okay, here we go. Um, if he's the greatest shooter of all time, this is a little cooking of the books, but let's talk it. Your field goal percentage ain't even better. Now, I get it. KD's bigger, so he can shoot down there lower. But guess what? He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't stay in the paint. He's out there with you, out shooting you in points and efficiency. Bruh, I don't even know how we can have this argument if we're not going to start at the same place, which is general knowledge. But it's okay. I'm listening to you. But there are too many greats, Jordan, too many greats, Kobe, who you can also make an argument they're nothing without someone else. But guess what? That gets undermined when you see someone who's just greater than all. It doesn't get undermined because I understand the argument. Like, if Phil Jackson wanted to say, Jordan, you didn't win without me, we'd have to be like, you know what? 
Phil Jackson is right. Jordan, he scored a lot of points before Phil Jackson, but Jordan did not win without Phil Jackson. Kobe, he scored a lot of points yep. when Phil Jackson uh, not present, but Kobe did not win without Phil Jackson. I will listen to that argument. Will you listen to Shaq going up to Jordan and then saying, I'm better than you? And you say, why? Because I won without Phil? No, no you wouldn't. You're, Thank you. That's my Kevin Durant argument. Parallels. But Shaq could not go to Phil Jackson mm -hmm. and make that argument. Mm -hmm. Shaq could go. That, why, why, that's why, the why, difference. Why? Why? He could go because with that Raleigh hug. What I'm saying is Kevin Durant.